Hello everyone and welcome back to Blender Car Modeling. This is Versus 53 and we are going to be modeling the Toyota Supra Mark 4. Hello everyone and welcome back to Blender Car Modeling. And today we are going to be making our grill on the front section of the Supra bumper. Without any further delays, let's get started. So first what we are going to be doing is just making the grill. So before we get started, what you need to do is go to edit go to preferences, go to get extensions and then we're going to be adding this extra mesh objects preferences. So just go ahead type in extra mesh here and like this like under the available option you're going to get extra curve objects and just press install right here and that's going to install your add-on like this. This add-on is going to be installed for you and then just go ahead in your add-ons and check if it's added after you're done with that just go to this preferences and just save preferences all right after you're done with this after you're done with this just go ahead close that and we're going to be selecting the bumper right here tabbing into that next what we're going to be doing is just swinging around to the back of the bumper and we're going to be sliding this edge loop up a bit so that it's easier to work with the one on the back, just press G twice and just slide that up right to the middle. Right after you're done with that, just go ahead, select this edge loop, this one right here, and press S, Y, and 0. That is going to straighten your entire edge loop. Alright, and then we're going to be pressing G and Y and moving that a bit behind. Next what I'm going to do is select this edge loop again, press G twice, press E and F to align it with the bottom and then just slide that back and there we go. After you're done with that, we're going to be just selecting this, the last edge loop by pressing ALT. Once the edge loop is selected, just press SHIFT and D and press P and separate it by selection. After done with this, just tab out, alright, and then from the scene tree right here, just select this, tab in again, and there's a few extra vertices right around here, so what I'm gonna do is just select them manually and remove them, so there are three here, so just select all three, press M and merge them at the center, so just make sure there's equal number of vertices. So I've just deleted one more. Now just select this one, press F and just select these two and just keep pressing F and we faced up the entire thing like this and just make sure all the lines are straight. By pressing G twice you can just adjust that. Alright. I'm just pressing 1, we're gonna go to our normal view as you can see our back plate of the grill is ready so just tab out and just go ahead and press F2 and just rename that to front grill dash back plate alright just go ahead and do that so now we're just going to be making this a little 3D. So just go ahead, click, click here. And we're going to be disabling the subdivision surface for this. So just uncheck this right here. Just tab in A. Go to an angle like this and E and Y. And just extend that box back. Just like that. Alright. So to add the honeycomb, now we are going to be pressing shift A and then going down to our mesh, going up to our mesh and then extras and then honeycomb or else you just have the add menu here, you can just go to mesh, extras and then to honeycomb and I've just increased the rows and columns to 100, make it easier to scale and fit in, so just scale that down till you are satisfied with the number of hexagons and the honeycombs that you have just adjust that so that it's in the center 
and now we're just going to be sliding the honeycomb a bit forward to intersect our back plate grill right here just make that intersect right in the middle right and just keep that about there right and after we're done with this we're going to be adding a boolean modifier so just go ahead click on the honeycomb first then go to generate then we're going to be going to boolean and then we're going to be selecting our back plate right here right there so now here as you can see i've just gone ahead and selected my back plate right here gone to difference and from exact i switched to fast right here and i just went so this is doing the boolean modifier but it's inverting the selection just so just go ahead and press intersect right here just tab in our honeycomb right here press a and now we're just going to be solidifying this just press e and y and just solidify that right after done with that just tab in select all these faces press x and delete all the faces and there we have it our grill right there we have a nice grill going around and we're also going to be subdividing the back plate here i just removed the subdivision so that it's easier to follow through before we do that just go ahead tap tap back into our grill now what i'm going to do is just press alt shift alt and select all of these and just slide these quite a bit ahead so that our grill is right around it and there just have a look there and i'm just going to be subdividing that again generate subdivision surface and just increase that four and after done with that just go ahead shade smooth all right and this we're going to be scaling up so before we do that i'm just going to be applying the boolean modifier just go ahead here and apply right after done with apply now we can scale this quite a bit so just scale that up and now gz and just take that down and we're also going to be selecting the back grill here we're going to be going to advance and here we're going to just go to keep brown keep boundaries right here and for this we're going to be doing one more thing selecting the back plate we're going to be adding a control loop right around here right at the end and like that right and now we're gonna be getting that perfect look right there let's just scale this a bit right there and it is intersecting around here just go ahead press alt z see all the vertices right here go ahead and delete all of these just press x and delete the vertices do the same on the other side too I've just gone to front view to make it better visible. And I'm just going to be deleting a few words. And there we have it. So our front grill is ready and it does look really really good. So after we're done with the grill, now I'm just going to select this as F2. And rename that to front grill front bumper and enter. After done with this, we're just gonna be organizing our scene tree here. So just go ahead. We're gonna be selecting the front bumper, the front back plate, and the grill 
and just press M and move those to a new collection and make the new collection name to run and and just create all right and also just drag and drop the hood right into this collection all right one more thing we're going to be doing for a better topology on the back plate just go ahead and select the back plate tab in and i'm just going to be selecting the back end right here just make sure you're selecting the back end and not the control loop right just go there and press control t and that is just going to triangulate all of those to make a better topology so it's nicely reflecting just press alt r if you alt x if you want and just go ahead and check our grill right just go ahead and do that and it does look really really nice right and we're done we're done with making the grill and after we're done with this just press control s and this saves your entire thing so that was it for today we've learned to make a grill we've used the boolean modifier the subdivision and also added extra objects extension so thank you for watching i hope you learn on how to make a grill all the best and happy creating